Hey everybody, this is David, and today I'm going to be talking about Arrow Season 6, Episode 9, Irreconcilable Differences. And um, this is the mid-season finale of Arrow, as you guys might know if you are a huge fan of DC TV. All the DC TV shows are having their mid-season finales, and Arrow is finally the last one. So let's get right into this episode. Uh, Caden James and Black Siren, the Laurel Lance from Earth 2, are back in this episode causing some problems. And they force Oliver and the team to go out and steal this thing for them that is part of their plan. Um, we start off with a party because what, what CW show... Uh, <laughs> doesn't need a party, um, it, but it's not just any party. Obviously, it's uh, Oliver and Felicity celebrating their wedding because they got married last week during the crossover, and they are celebrating it with friends and family, uh, which includes Felicity's father as well. I forgot that Felicity was Felicity's father uh, in prison or something last time we saw him. I don't remember. Uh, something I was worried about was if they were going to forget about Quentin and um, Felic Felicity's mom's little romance. And uh, no, they didn't. They kind of had a little meetup again. It was very awkward. They didn't really talk much. I was hoping to get a little bit more from them. Um, but fine, whatever, we just moved on, I guess. Um, I don't think this will be the end of Felicity's mom and Quentin, um, trying to reconnect in some way. Uh, but it looked like Mama Smoke is, uh, getting closer with her ex-husband again. So, who knows, maybe she's gonna go back with him and remarry. Um, something else happened in this episode we were led to believe that there is a traitor on the team that someone is willing to testify against oliver and uh there were a couple of guesses that i had some they were making it too obvious that it couldn't be some they were making it obvious that it might be um the ones that i did think for sure uh was diggle there were some moments I was thinking, could Diggle be the one? Because he's acting too, hmm, conveniently, uh, he's like uh, too too much with Oliver on this. Like, is he trying to throw somebody other, under the bus? And when Oliver was accusing Dinah, I actually did think, oh man, maybe it is Diggle. Uh, my second choice was also Renee. But my problem with Renee is that I thought he was too easy of a pick because right in the beginning of the episode they were really heightening this idea that Renee was being way too nice and Renee can be an asshole sometimes we know this we've if you've been a fan of Arrow and watched season 5 when R Renee was introduced and onward into this season he he can be a dick once in a while let's let's put it that way um but in this episode, they, they were playing him up to be really nice. He said something really nice at uh, Oliver and Felicity's party. And and then later, when he helped uh, Curtis back home, uh, because he got a hangover, uh, I was thinking too much, are they really laying it on thick that he might be the one? I, I find it too odd that he's like this nice all of a sudden. Um... And I did not think it was Curtis because <laughs> if they were trying to get me to think that, well, maybe Curtis is so drunk that he accidentally said something. Um, no, I, I'm even I don't care how angry Curtis was at the party because of sometimes you say shit that you don't really mean. Or maybe deep down you actually feel that way, but you wouldn't really betray someone, someone's trust for that. Uh, so I, I I didn't think it was Curtis because of that, just because he was drunk and angry. Uh, I, I just thought, no, that's just, that's just Curtis. That's what he's been bottling up. But that doesn't mean Curtis would go behind their backs and and 
say something like that, testify against them. I think Curtis has been a very loyal ally to Team Arrow since he was introduced uh, back in Season 4. Um, and I was kind of disappointed when they revealed that it was Renee and he stepped forward. I thought he stepped forward. I thought they were going to reveal all of that at the ending. Um, so I, in some ways, okay, they, they kind of got it out of the way faster to tell a different type of story than I thought they were going to. Um, but at the same time, I'm kind of, I, I really wanted it to be Diggle in some ways and see what that would have been like. Like, what it, what was the betrayal there? Are you angry that you're not Green Arrow anymore? I don't know. Um, but in some ways, I'm happy that it's not Diggle. Uh, Dinah would have been interesting, too. She was the, the traitor. That way, opening the doors for this Laurel, Earth 2 Laurel, to become the new Black Canary. Because that's what I'm still hoping for. Um... But yeah, fine. Renee, okay. They had a reasonable excuse because um, they were he. They did kind of threaten it, uh, him, I think, for uh, about his daughter, or he was worried that he wouldn't get his daughter back uh, if he didn't testify. So uh, that that's what I was kind of expecting. The the excuse would have been. Um, so Oliver kicks him off the team, and you think it's all done and over with, but no. Uh, Oliver, when Caden James and 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 Laurel uh, kidnap Lance, Oliver recruits, brings all the team in uh, to stop this. Now, uh, that's where a little bit of the drama comes in, the superhero drama, which is the drama that I don't mind on these shows. I hate it when they get into the soap opera stuff. Make it a superhero drama. Focus on the superhero drama aspect of it because that's the stuff I like. Uh, that's the kind of drama I don't mind. And, you know, the three of them, the three newbies, I guess, they're not really newbies anymore, but the three of them have a discussion about how they feel betrayed because Oliver spied on all of them. And I see their point there because Oliver has been like that. And, you know, he hasn't really trusted them 100%. And to be fair, this episode proved why he shouldn't be trusting them 100%. Uh, because, as you could see there, uh, Curtis and Renee decide to do their own thing at the end. And they got lucky, like Oliver said. Um, there's no teamwork aspect in this team. The team does not trust each other. The new guys don't trust the old ones, and the old ones don't trust the new ones. There has to be some sort of compromise. And I think that's what they're going to eventually have to learn before seasons end. Uh, because it looks like the villains are forming their own team uh so and they might be better at teamwork than team era right now so i think this is really interesting what they set up there at the very end is that we got team arrow against this evil team of villains right now which i'm very excited about uh as we saw vigilante is part of that team also and dinah is unaware that that's going on behind her back so there there's some crazy stuff that's going to be happening and they have a bigger Caden james says he has a bigger plan ahead of him this is just the beginning and he's been spying on this on them this entire time when laurel set up cameras in the arrow cave um two months ago when she uh, broke in there uh so i am yeah this is this is looking good i thought i thought this show wasn't gonna give us nothing because i was expecting quentin to die by the end but they didn't kill him and i, I thought that was interesting but i thought it was also interesting that laurel said told him to run away now i don't know if that was part of the plan or if that if lance's instincts were right because he said laurel like as if like you know she was there is good in her that's what i i thought they were hinting at there so we're gonna have to see more of that and i i think we're going to see more of that in the second half of the season when they return in january um <clears throat> maybe not in the first episode right away but at least we're starting to see a bigger picture form here that all these villains that were in separate episodes are actually forming a league of their own <laughs> if you will um another thing i i i thought was really good 
um, was that Oliver realized that, hey, you know what? He, he, he was conflicted about forgiving Renee. And uh, the reason he did is because he realized some of the mistakes that he did. I mean, yeah, all, back in season three, Oliver betrayed Team Arrow. Uh, let's not forget some of that. So he did find it a little bit easier this time to forgive Renee because of that. Because he could see, yes, there is goodness to Renee. And that's why he gave them the second chance. Uh, but he, Renee dropped the ball again. So, uh, hey, at least Oliver... You know, tried to give him, like, let's give him another chance, see what he does. And unfortunately, he didn't uh, do it right. So Renee also has some things to work on. It can't just be, hey, you can't just be mad at Oliver. He's right. He, you know, he, he got you there. But in some ways, Oliver should have apologized for spying on them and just come clean with them. Like, just confront I, it looks like renee was willing to tell the truth and he realized his mistake uh later on but will he realize this one now people can constantly make mistakes on this show and then they don't realize it later on after it's like they forget it brush it under the table um characters these characters need to start remembering and writing notes oh yeah i i, I should stop doing my, that mistake again Anyways, I thought this was a really good uh, mid-season finale. I had a good time with it. I'm very excited to see what the villains are doing all together. Like, now that we see, okay, this is not just one or two villains together. This is a whole group of villains together. And it's going to take all of Team Arrow to bring these guys down. Maybe even Speedy has to come into the, the game again. Or maybe they have to recruit Roy again because there were rumors Colton Haynes might return. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, really good uh, mid-season finale. I thought it was really strong. Arrow, once again, killing it this season. I'm loving it. Um, can't wait to see what happens next week. Or, sorry, in January. This is the last episode of the year, guys. I can't believe this. Uh, but don't worry. I have my DC TV we recap, a weekly recap. Uh, not recap, rankings. Uh, coming out this Saturday, where I'm going to be ranking all the DC TV, uh, TV uh, mid-season finales. So you can check out my rankings this Saturday. And until then, like, subscribe, especially if you are a huge fan of the DC TV shows. Uh, because I review Arrow and Flash every time new episodes air. And like I said, I do DC TV weekly rankings where I rank every episode throughout the week. If there's more than two episodes of DCTV. So until next time, take care.